What is up guys, it's Black Hole Sun and welcome to Killer Frequency. I hate that it's kind of turning, but I guess we gotta deal with it. Fuck it, we turn real life. Crouching and standing. Okay. What the fuck? What? Oh, fuck me. Fuck you. Oh, fuck, motherfucker. Come on. Run those hands, bitch. Run those hands, bitch. Think. Jesus Christ. Damn, this is a bop. Killer frequency. You, uh, you hear something, Peggy? Huh? Hear what? I thought I heard someone yelling, or, I don't know, how? Forrest, is this a joke? No, I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats? You know, four legs, whiskers, tails, not dogs. <laughs> I know what a cat is, but I mean... Does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to do the pre-flight checks? Seriously? Do we have to do these checks every time? And do you have to call them that? Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show. Let's go! And he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to... All right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. Let's We're go. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting. Why couldn't I hear the record? To take your call on line one. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So. 
Let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm, is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on, the Peggy button is the third one on the phone line. I labeled it for you. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Coming in for landing. In. Local time? Ah, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. Okay, you're live in three, two... 189.16. Good evening, Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or Discover the corpse of a loved one. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean, play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. No, I, I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. We're going to need a scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so... Ah, oh, fuck me. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. That's enough dead air already. Just think of a scream and let it rip. Oh, God. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. Guess that scream. Let's go with... <sighs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Oh, God, Forrest, that was amazing. Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Light enough for it. That's gonna be the highlight of my life. Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Welcome to 189.16, the, the screen, screen. caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Leslie, I've got to say I'm always happy to have a caller, but uh, 
Shouldn't our 911 operator and police dispatcher be minding the phones? What? I found a body. I need your help. <laughs> 911 is calling me to report a body. Interesting setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? First, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Oh, fuck. Sheriff Matthews is dead? That is I couldn't get any response from the department. not good. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and I found him. Oh God, poor Sheriff Matthews. You got any better? Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close, and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. It was, but... Well, is anyone else at the station? Anyone who can help you? Or, or who might be responsible? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God. Wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie... Do you have oh, any good idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's going to man the emergency line? That's me. why I called. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. You can count on me. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Forrest. You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Okay. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Hell, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's gotta be another way in. There's gotta be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. I'm just gonna turn you over and... Ugh. Please don't stare at me. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I, I, th I think I got the cell keys. Looks like Sheriff Matthews might have saved his deputy. Do the keys work? They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Yeah, that seemed to go okay. 
Maybe Leslie was right. Maybe we can handle this 911 business. That's the spirit, Forrest. I think you're right. Though, I have to say, I... Well, I really hope this is the only call like this we get. Same. Come on, Martinez. There we go. We're just gonna sit you in your office chair. Well, head to my car. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. Oh, what? fuck. No, no way. Ooh. This can't. Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask, and how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. He wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Stay inside and lock the doors. Right. Forrest, come on. You need to focus. Shit, we need a new plan. My car is torched. We need to think. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... That... Just... Should be your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am I supposed to get us to the car? The whistling man is right there. Um. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. I... Shit. It's empty. He must oh, have fuck. emptied it trying to defend himself. Um. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. God, this is tense. All right. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. The taser. The taser. Wearing He's wearing a mask. The pepper spray take? won't work. The baton's not gonna do fuck all. You you take the taser. I mean, take the it's taser. It's gotta be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No, I I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. You said you could see the whistling man earlier. Can you still see him? Let me take a look. No, I don't see him anywhere. But I can see the car. Squad car three. It's right there. Okay, Deputy Martinez. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So... Here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Okay, um... Good luck, Leslie. That's one brave woman. God, I hope she makes it through this. 
you know, I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. We're here. Leslie. So I, I guess you made it to the car then. Over. Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away oh, from fuck. Our... The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Yeah! Take that! Yeah, taste that motherfucker! Leslie, drive! Leslie, are you two okay? Did you get away? Or... Forrest, that taser? Definitely the right call. Oh my god, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my god, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side of the boat. Leslie, yeah, how long do you fair. think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek has a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less Shit. Time, put my foot down. You keep that pedal to the floor then. We'll see when you're back. You don't have to tell me twice. Anyway, once I'm in... Oh, I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest and Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon. But I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care, Leslie. Be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. Let's go. Now for some tunage. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. We're gonna get back to the show, meanwhile. If you have anything on your mind or have any information about this Whistling Man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16, The, the scream. scream. For now, here's another hit record for you all to enjoy. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four hours this guy's gonna kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Moody. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. Killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just... Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was, well, it was on this night, actually. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So oh, is he fuck. alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. All right. Copycat or ghost killer, I, I guess we'll do our best. That's the Let's spirit. Go. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people at best. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh, 
How many did you get before, you know? Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We can only dream of that. Five million. Million. Million? Yeah, sometimes that's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Time to turn the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Screen. The Screen. Is everything, uh, all right? Okay, uh, who is this? Are you, uh, hello? Hello? Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. Oh, maybe you must make a sacrifice to us. A sacrifice? To us? I, I mean, me! We want cheese dust and pretzel. I mean... I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Come on, kids, give it up. I know you're just having fun, but there's been death tonight. This really isn't appropriate. <laughs> man, suck it, old man! Gallows high for one! Woo! For anyone just tuning in, we do, in fact, have an actual killer out on the streets tonight. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Listen in to this next track from Late Night Lurkers. If you dare. If you dare. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town? It's a thing. A thing? Ugh, oh, kids around here. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character? You think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. And there's no chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie... No, that... Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right away. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name, and what's your trouble? Uh, my name is Sandra Sharp, and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, but the cops aren't coming. Leslie's on her way to Henderson for help. What? Oh, God. Listen, you've got to help me then. I, don't I sure will. Run, and now some psycho dressed like the Whistling Man is after me, knife in hand. Oh, God. It's actually happening. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I jazz ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. I never locked the doors. I've got a place to hide, but I 
can't get moving. Um. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I. to 189.16 The Scream hosted by me, Forrest Nash your friendly neighborhood radio host mechanic and savior sit tight while the record spins folks this one goes out to you, Sandra doesn't the station have a show about cars? the Tamora Twins or something Timberline Twins Talk Motors yeah, you know they're not even brothers really? They look the same, though. I know, but they're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really sweaty and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices I are out sure the door will. and down the hall. Okay. So many locked doors, so few keys. I'm not getting in there tonight. So what am I looking for? This has to be important. It's in the bathroom.
This looks useful. anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, The Scream. The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I. I. Oh, screwdriver's too fat to fit. What next? Unscrew the steering column. Tell me exactly what you see. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and a brown wire. What's the serial number on the steering column? The number is 5768943200. Five, seven, um... Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. Oh, perfect. I also see pink and purple wire. What next? Um, strip the purple wire. Do not touch it. Brush the purple wire against the twisted wires from step three. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Let's go! We saving lives tonight! You just keep driving now, okay? And get home safe. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. We did it, Forrest! We sure did. Here comes another hit track. Also having car troubles? Then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. Right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago. Or, hell, it's not really It's not anywhere. really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh, friendly. Usually, if you get to know them. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. I guess some folks have been okay. You're not terrible after a while. Not terrible after a while? My praise coming from Forrest Nash. You know what I mean, Peggy. I do. It's Forrest Nash for I think you're swell. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night. And that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. Can we at least call off that stupid Guess the Scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Oh, 
down.